Hello South Africa. It is Thursday, June 9, 2022 and here are the top 5 stories that have made headlines for today. National shutdown, disruption may start a day earlier, as EFF targets Cyril. After a strong start to the campaign, threats of a national shutdown have somewhat eased off in the past few days. The initial rage from soaring petrol prices seems to have subsided, but the EFF could end up reviving plans for significant disruption on Thursday. The national shutdown is meant to take place on Friday, June 10th. Parents are being encouraged to keep their children home from school, and the employed have been told to avoid their workplaces. The goal is to bring the country to a standstill until the petrol price drops again. Johannesburg being choked by sulfur cloud. If you're currently wondering what that awful stench is in Johannesburg, we're afraid it's nothing new, a so-called sulfur cloud is hanging around the city, contributing to poor air quality and unsavory smells. Social media has been awash with complaints from Johannesburg residents who noticed a coific sulfuric scent in the air this morning. The stink has even got some locals reaching for their COVID masks in a desperate bid to keep their nostrils safe. Son caught red-handed chopping elderly mother into pieces. A son was caught red-handed in the garage chopping his elderly mother into pieces at Riverside in Futadijiba, Free State. It is alleged that the husband of the deceased Motsumi Joseph Makona arrived home and found his son inside the garage packing the remains of his mother inside the plastic bag. When his father tried to inquire about what was happening, the son took out a knife and stabbed him in the chest, and as a result, he was admitted to the hospital with serious stab wounds. Captain Fumalelo Dlamini Paramedics robbed while trying to save a critically ill patient. Two paramedics were robbed at gunpoint on the R510 between Mogways and Rassenberg while trying to save a critically ill patient. According to ER24 spokesperson Russell Myring, the incident happened on Tuesday. He said paramedics were busy transferring a critically ill patient along the R510 to his home from a hospital in Rassenberg when the patient's vital signs began to diminish rapidly. Murdered Northwest teacher laid to rest, police yet to make an arrest. The Northwest teacher who was brutally murdered outside Rutenong Primary School in Jilhard Park last week was laid to rest in KwaZulu-Natal over the weekend. However, police are still searching for the two men who committed this hideous crime. Sami Kelesayo Penelope Engzumalo was shot at close range by two unknown men in front of the school gate on Tuesday. She was inside her fortuna when she was shot and the men left without taking anything, police said. Please subscribe for more news updates. This is Leah for the South African.